Hello viewers, welcome back to EduWord. In previous lecture, we have learned about the use of for loop. And in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the nested for loop structure in C programming. So let's start nested for loop in C programming. So what do you mean by nested loop? Let's see. A loop present inside another loop is called nested loop. What it means to say is that if any loop which you have learned in previous lecture, if, uh, if any for loop, let's say for loop is present in another for loop, then it is called as nested for loop. That means if any loop is present inside another loop, it is called nested loop. Let's see about its syntax. So we can see here, okay, for First, we can see here there are three items inside the parenthesis. First is initialization. So, let me tell you this is the outer loop, outer loop, and this one is the inner loop. That means loop inside another loop. So, this is inner loop. So, we can see here. So this uh, in outer loop as well, there is three items present. Initialization, condition, increment, decrement. In previous lecture, we have uh, seen about the use of for loop, how for loop is being used and what are the items present in for loop. So initialization, then semicolon, then condition, then we give the increment or decrement. And if the outer loop's condition is true, then inner loop statement gets executed. So if the outer condition outer loop condition is true then it goes for inner loop so here guys this is the inner loop until this inner loops condition is true this statement gets executed and if the condition becomes false then it comes out of the inner loop then it goes for checking again for the outer loop and then again, if that condition is true, then it enters in the inner loop, it does the work. And if the condition becomes false inside inner loop, then it goes for checking of the outer loop. So in this way, it checks on okay, inner loop, uh, outer loop first, then it goes for inner loop for checking. And if till the condition is true, and when the condition becomes false, then the control of the program comes out of the inner loop to the outer loop. Again, condition, it will be checked at the outer loop. And if the condition becomes false, finally, if the condition of outer loop becomes false, then the control of the program comes out of this outer loop as well. In this way, okay, this uh, nested loop does the work. Now, let us try to understand by a flowchart. Let us see about flowchart. Okay, so let's see here flowchart. Let us try to understand flowchart. In flowchart, you can see here. Okay, initialization has taken place. Here is the initialization. That means we give the initial value. Here we can see initialization. Then we give the first condition. This is the outer loop. This is the outer loop's condition. Condition one is the outer loop's condition. If this outer loop's condition is true, then it goes for checking for inner loops condition this is inner loops condition condition one is outer loops condition and condition two is inner loops condition and if this condition inner loops condition is true then a statement gets executed this statement gets executed and uh, there is increment decrement so there will be either increment or decrement of a variable which is used in the loop and it goes up again for checking condition 2 if the condition is true is true is true then statement gets executed again increment or decrement takes place of the variable again condition is checked so in this way till the condition is true okay, inner loop keeps on executing and if the inner loop becomes false then it goes for the next outer loops increment or decrement of the variable and then it goes for the outer loops condition for checking so if this condition again is true then it enters the control of the program enters in the inner loop again and same process again repeats so if the finally if the condition outer loops condition becomes false then only the control of the program comes out of this 
nested loop so guys from here what you understood is that so if any loop is present if any loop is present inside another loop inside another loop then that is called as nested loop so guys i have uh, i hope you have understood the use of this nested loop how okay, what is the syntax of nested loop and uh, through this flowchart you came to understand about how this nested loop works now let us try to solve one program by using this nested for loop so let's start to do one program using nested for loop so here is our text editor okay uh, editor uh, for writing c program so i'm going to write one program for you using nested loop so let's see one example conio dot h void main then after our main module starts here we initialize the variable i comma j which we are going to use as a variable in the loop then after i am using the outer loop first of all for i equals to 0 let us say initialize the value i lesser equals to 10 for suppose let us keep then i plus plus so this is the guys outer loop this is the outer loop now inside this outer loop i am going to give the inner loop let's say for j equals to 1 j lesser equals to i j plus plus sorry not less greater or equals to okay j plus plus now let us try to print something print f percent d comma j okay let us try to print something let it keep print f to change the line and to change the line after printing then we use the get shape statement to scroll the screen now let us try to compile it so let us give the file name c then here let us write nested loop let us give the file name as nested loop save it okay so program is compiled successfully now let us try to run it okay this is giving uncontrolled uh, value that means a uh, random value is keeps on giving something is missing there let's uh, So close this one for i equals to 0 i lesser equals to 10 j equals to j equals to let us give 1 equals to 10 let us give this one as well okay so guys let us see and uh, let us compile again and run it Okay, compiled successfully run it okay okay so we got this output one two three four five let us see five here plus to one j lesser equals to five plus to one to five to one J equals to I. Okay, let us compile again. Okay, run it. Okay, so I was trying to take get out this uh, take out this output. So we can see here. So value of J is printing. So this outer loop. This is the outer loop. So let me tell you. This is the outer loop. 
and uh, this one is the inner loop this one is the inner loop so this is outer and this one is the inner okay inner loop so let me try to explain you when i value is 1 that means this outer loop will execute 5 times for taking initial value as 1 then it will check for the condition i is i less or equals to 5 that means 1 is less than or equals to 5 yes of course 1 is less or equals to 5 condition is true then the control of the program enters inside the inner loop so in inner loop we can see here j equals to 1 so guys let me make this window smaller okay okay I got it so j j equals to 1 then j is 1 initially so 1 is equal to 1 1 is equal to 1 so condition is true then this statement gets executed so it will print the value of j so j is 1 so 1 gets printed so we, we can see in the output screen 1 is printed first then j value is increased by 1 then it becomes 2 then after that it again checks for the condition is 2 less or equals to 1 no 2 is not less than 1 so condition becomes false in that case the control of the program comes out of this inner loop and in after coming out of this inner loop there is one statement printf slash n so line changes that means next time whatever is to be printed will be printed in the next line then we can see the control of the program goes up again here and here we can see there is increment of i variable by 1 so this time i value becomes now 1 plus 1 that is 2 so i value now it becomes 2 then again it goes for checking for the condition is 2 less or equals to 5 yes condition is true 2 is less than 5 so if the condition is true then it enters inside the inside the for it enters inside the body of the outer loop that is there is next for loop inside the uh, in the main body of the outer for loop then after again initially j value becomes 1 then j is less or equals to i that means 1 is less or equals to 2 this time the value of i becomes 2 so 1 is less than 2 condition is true yeah then this statement gets executed so print j so 1 gets printed so j value 1 gets printed then again the value of j is increased by 1 so 1 plus 1 becomes 2 now this time j value becomes 2 then this condition is being checked so j is lesser equals to i so i is 2 so 2 is equal to 2 yeah of course 2 is equal to 2 so again the condition is true then this statement gets executed so j value 2 gets printed in the same line then after again j value is increased by 1 this time j value becomes 2 plus 1 3 then it goes for checking for the condition is 3 less or equals to 2 no 3 is not less or equals to 2 so condition becomes false then the control of the program comes out of this inner loop again then there is again this printf statement so after printing 1 and 2 then slash n breaks the line changes the line so that uh, next item gets printed in the third line then again the control of the program comes out of this inner loop and goes for the outer loop now this time i value becomes 2 plus 1 3 so when i value becomes 3 then it goes for checking for this condition so 3 is less or equals to 5 yeah of course 3 is less or equals to 5 then the control of the program enters inside the inner loop then again here j value is 1 initial value is 1 then j less or equals to 3 so 1 is less or equals to 3 yeah of course is true so this statement gets executed so j value is 1 gets printed next time 2 gets printed and third time 3 gets printed 
when j value becomes 4 then this condition becomes false because 4 is not less or equals to 3 so the control of the program comes out of the loop after printing 1 2 and 3 then there is again slash n this statement gets executed then the control then uh, line changes again to so that it will print other items in the fourth line now then the control of the program goes comes out of the inner loop and goes for the outer loop again so this time i plus plus becomes value of i as 3 plus 1 4 so when i value becomes 4 then this condition is again checked so 4 is i less or equals to 5 that is 4 is less or equals to 5 yes of course 4 is less than 5 so condition is true then it goes for the inner loop so in inner loop again the same process j equals to 1 then 1 is less or equals to 4 yeah 1 j gets printed 1 gets printed next time 2 gets printed next third time 3 gets printed then 4 gets printed and when 4 plus 1 becomes 5 the value of j becomes 5 then this condition will return the false value because 5 is not less or equals to 4 so in that case uh, 1 2 3 and 4 only gets printed then the control of the program comes out of the inner loop and same process continues less n changes the line then the control of the program enters in the outer loop again then this time i value becomes 4 plus 1 5 so when i value becomes 5 then this condition is still true because 5 is equal to 5 condition is still true then the control of the program enters in the in, in inside of this uh, inner loop as well again then the same process when j is 1 1 gets printed when j is 2 2 gets printed when j is 3 3 gets printed when j is 4 4 gets printed uh, and when j is 5 5 gets printed and then j value when it becomes 6 then this condition becomes false because 6 is not less or equals to 5 so 6 is greater than 5 so condition becomes false then the control of the program comes out of the inner loop then then again there is slash n line changes and when it goes for this one i plus plus becomes lastly 6 but when i, I value becomes 6 then this condition returns false value because 6 is not less or equals to 5 so in that case finally the outer loop condition also becomes false then the control of the program comes out of the outer loop as well and there is get ch to hold the screen so in this way we can see the output 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so guys you can just uh, give different values for these conditions and all and you can check for different types of outputs which has been asked this type of question related to the use of nested for loop has been asked many times in exam so i request you to please do some changes in the condition initial values and printing statement so that you can get different varieties of output uh, so for practice you will understand so that you can understand in a better way so i hope you have understood this the use of for loop statement in or specially nested for loop statement in c programming so please if uh, yeah, I like our videos please share our videos so that I will be motivated to make some more videos I hope you all are uh, enjoying our videos you all are understanding our videos so if there is any feedback comments questions then you are freely just uh, you can give comments uh, just you can leave comments to us in the comment section and please don't forget to like share subscribe our channel and please share to your friends relatives and those who are uh, learners of c programming those who want to gain knowledge in c programming those who are just the basic learners of c programming they can understand these simple uh, video tutorials lectures in a better way i hope all of you are enjoying our videos so please don't forget to like share subscribe and press or hit the bell button so that you will get the latest and updated notifications of our channel thank you very much